Hello everybody, I'm Alex from Chicago and today we're going to learn how to troubleshoot 240 volt electric baseboard heater. We're going to troubleshoot them, we're going to talk about the heater, the thermostat, the circuit breaker, the wiring, so uh, the winter season is coming so you have to be ready. So don't go anywhere, I'll be right back. So the first thing we have to do is check on your thermostat. Make sure that it's working and make sure that you are calling for heat. What you see right now, uh, the number that you see at all the time, is the actual temperature of the apartment or the actual temperature of the room you are at. So we have to call for heat. If you are not calling for heat, of course your heater is not going to work. So let's see, uh, this is the actual temperature, so let's move here and it's 69, so it's below the temperature. For heating, you need the number higher, so we need at least 73, 74, so we're gonna set it, set it to 74. And if you hear that, uh, the thermostat clicked. So now we are calling for heat, now we are talking. Okay, so now that we are calling for heat, and we have to verify that your heater is working. So let's go to the heater. So now we're here and these are two heaters that we have and now we're gonna touch them to see if they're working. So we touch them and they're cold, they're not working. So we're gonna find out why. So the first thing you're going to do when you don't have any heat is going to go at the heater itself and make sure that you have 240 volts coming from the thermostat. Okay, so now let's test how we have power. So there's power coming out of the breaker box, uh, going through the wire to the thermostat, passing the, going through the thermostat and we have power here. But if you still have no heat, then the last thing is the heater. You have to replace the heater. I wouldn't mess with the parts, even there's just a resistance and some uh, components there. But let me tell you okay, so this is the breaker box. Our heaters are the 30 amp, so we're gonna turn it off. So make sure you work with the power off. So now let's troubleshoot the thermostat and see different scenarios. To take it apart, we have to remove the front cover. In this one, there's a screw heat at the bottom. So we're gonna remove it. And then we're gonna get the screw. And then this one in particular, we're gonna open it up from here and opens this way. Look at that. And then we have two screws we're gonna remove those. So now we're gonna remove this, uh, but uh, there's paint around it, so it makes sense to score it around so you don't break the paint, otherwise you'll be stuck fixing the wall and touching up, and we don't want that. Okay, so, okay, that's it. And now you're gonna see all the wiring here. So we're going to pull it out. Okay, now that we pulled everything out, now we're going to turn the breaker on because we're going to make, we're going to test all the wirings. Okay, so now we're on. Okay, so we have the power, the breaker on, and I know that these blacks are my supply. It's 240, 240 volts and, uh, 120 and 120 that makes 240 volts so I have my pen and uh, my pen if there was power it would be red and it would make a sound but there's no power whatsoever so that means that there's something wrong in the wiring or in the breaker so one more time this is the power supply. The, the power comes from the breaker box, 
uh, uh, through the black wire. So this is 120 and this is 120 that makes 240 and I have to have uh, power here and there's nothing. So I have to go back to the source to the breaker box. Okay, so that was a scenario number one. Uh, no power from the breaker box. So now let's try. Now if you see we have power now. We have power and so now we are reading, uh, we are putting one lead on one uh, side of the 120 and the other one on the other side. So that's 240 and we have 242. So that's actual telling me, uh, so that's telling me the actual amount of volts. It's very important. The pen is not sufficient. It's not enough. You need to know how many volts. So many times my co-workers uh, they tell Alex there's power uh, yes there's power but not enough power to run the machine to run the equipment so you have to bring your meter out and measure and you have to be able to tell me if it's 242 180 160 or whatever okay so now we know that there's power coming to the thermostat and that tells us that the breaker is in good shape that the wiring coming from the breaker bus it's in good shape and if you're having if you have power to your thermostat but it's not going to your heater then we're gonna blame it on the thermostat so in other words there's power here but there's no power coming out it means that something inside here is bad and it's not working anymore and it's not sending the power to uh, the heater so you have to replace uh, the thermostat so let's go back to the first scenario that there's no power here so we have to trace it back so let's go to the source let's go to the breaker box okay so this is the breaker box now we have to pause here if you don't feel comfortable working with electricity you have to stop here and uh, let these for the professionals, people that know what they're doing, because this might kill you. So please be cautious, and if you feel uncomfortable, don't do it. So now, um, this is a breaker box, and this is a breaker. Uh, we know that there's no power to my thermostat. So it's either the breaker or the wiring because you might have 240 coming out of the breaker but not to the uh, thermostat so it might be a broken wire it could be um, yeah it's either the breaker or the wiring so we're gonna test both so for that we have to remove the front cover of your electric of your breaker box Okay, now we're gonna test the breaker and the wiring. So let's turn the power on. And we're gonna test, we're gonna set our meter to alternate current. And we're gonna put our two leads on, uh, on the 30 amp breaker, one on each side. And it's reading 238, uh, so that's good. That means that there's power going out of the breaker to the thermostat. So if you don't have power at the thermostat, then it's gonna be the wiring uh, because we have 240 coming out of it, but not arriving, not your thermostat is not getting it. So there's something wrong with the wiring. If it, if it measures a very low quantity, um, there may be something wrong with your breaker box uh, with the breaker itself so um, 
usually it's the breaker and not the whole uh, box. Okay, so let's work on a different uh, scenario. Let's, um, we have power coming from the breaker box and we, and we have power going out to the heater. So we have coming in and coming out of the thermostat. So we know that the, thermos the thermostat is good, but you still don't have heat. So it's in this case, it's either the wiring that goes to the heater or the heater itself. So we're gonna go to the heater and find out. Okay, one more time, repetition, repetition, repetition. The more you go through it, the more it's gonna sink in your brain. So now remember, uh, most people just focus on the thermostat or the heater and that's it. And then they fail to the proper troubleshoot because there's more components. We have the breaker, we have the power that comes from the street, we have the wiring and um, so, Let's let's do all over again. Let's start when you go go by the heater first. Before I will show you different scenarios, but when you go to the apartment, go to the heater and make sure that you have 240 volts here. If you have 240 volts here, then uh, and your heater doesn't work, then your heater is bad. But if you don't have 240 volts here, then you're gonna go back and trace it. Now. Um, if you have 24 volts coming out of your thermostat, but not to your heater, then the problem is the wiring. You'll be surprised of how many uh, apartments uh, when the uh, floor guys install the floors, drive nails through the pipes on the on the on the floor, and then they just break the wire, or they are rotten. You know, you never know when they install it or what's the shape of the wiring. So, um, if you don't have power, 240 volts here, then you have to go back to the other side and make sure that you have 240 volts on the line side of the thermostat. If you have 20, uh, 240 volts on the line side but not on the low side, then the thermostat is bad and you have to replace it. Okay, so you have, let's say you don't have power uh, here, then you have to trace it. You have to remove your breaker box and uh, remove the front cover and make sure that you have 240 volts coming out of your breaker. If you have 24 volts coming out of your breaker but not on your line side, then your wiring is bad and you have to trace it back and replace the wiring. So that's it for today, guys. I hope this helped you understand more uh, uh, the uh, 240 volt heaters. And now that you have more in-depth troubleshooting skills, you are not gonna fail. And you are not gonna call your supervisor because you are going to fix it. So um, if this video was beneficial to you, please like and please subscribe. Um, if you have uh, people that speak Spanish only, I have uh, Spanish and Espanol only. It is Alex the Handyman in Espanol. Thank you and see you next video.